this video session will be basically a summary of what we have done in uh, this chapter. Uh, at the beginning we looked at uh, uh, production in the short run and production in the short run means what, uh, what is, uh, you know, just to, to recap again, we assume production takes place in the short run, then at least one input is fixed. This one input is fixed. This one, at least one input is fixed and the other inputs are, are variable. So this is what happens in the, in the short run. That is our assumption. At least one input is fixed. That is our capital, for example, or the land. And then we assume that the variable in input was labor. So what we are trying to establish here is that uh, costs are tied up with production. What happened in production uh, determined the cost of, of production. So uh, what we have done in the short run, we have combined the fixed input with the variable input with labor. Uh, we have employed more labor, and as we employ more labor, what has happened with the MPP of labor? We saw that, uh, you know, at the beginning of the chapter, as you employ more labor, the marginal physical product of labor uh, was, uh, uh, was rising, right? And then uh, MC was uh, declining, okay? Uh, at the beginning, your marginal physical product of labor is rising, and then the marginal cost uh, is declining. But as you employ more labor at the point, uh, the MPP of labor, that is MPP of labor, will start to decline. Workers will be uh, standing in each other's way. The, uh, you know, the factory or the, or the land will be overcrowded and productivity will decline. And when productivity, marginal productivity, uh, physical pro pro product declines, then what will happen with the marginal cost at the same time will increase, right, okay? So if MPP declines, MC uh, increases. Now, we have seen uh, in the previous session as well, MC uh, affects what? Your AVC as well as your ATC. And that is because of uh, the average marginal room. The average marginal room. And we have illustrated that also uh, in a video session. Uh, if uh, MC is above or below the average uh, variable, what will happen with the average variable where MC is uh, uh, below or above the, uh, the average variable? What will happen with the average variable? So just to summarize that, if the marginal uh, variable is, be, uh, is greater than the average variable, then what will happen with the average variable? What will happen with AVC and ATC? Uh, a, uh, the average variable will increase. But if marginal variable is less than the average variable, then what will happen with the average variable will decline. This is your average marginal rule. And basically what then happens is that what happens with your marginal uh, cost will affect then your average cost. That is your AVC and your ATC. Uh, so if you look at this slide, uh, it basically summarizes, you know, what will happen, uh, you know, if there's uh, production in the short run and how will it affect cost in the short run. So if you look at the first one there, if the MPP is increasing, at the beginning MPP of the variable input will, will MPP of the variable of labor is increasing, then what will happen with marginal cost? Marginal cost will decline, right? Okay, and then what will happen with your AVC and your ATC? AVC and ATC. Now that depends on if the uh, MC is a bit above or below these two curves. If MC is, uh, say, uh, above, if MC is above this curves, right? Then according to the average marginal rule, what will happen? If MC is above, let's look at above, these two curves, then what will happen with these two curves? It will increase, right? And if you go back to the average marginal rule, if the marginal magnitude is greater than the average magnitude, the average magnitude will increase. So AVC and ATC will increase. But if MC is below AVC and ATC, then according to the average marginal rule, what will happen with AVC and ATC? If it's below, then we say that uh, if the marginal revenue is below the average uh, uh, magnitude, then what will happen with the average magnitude? It will decline, okay? So depending on 
if MC is above or below AVC or ATC, uh, then basically that will determine, according to the average marginal rule, uh, it will determine either an increase in, in these two variables or a decrease in these two variables, right? Okay, that is firstly when MPP is rising. But we know uh, after a certain amount of labor has been em uh, employed, the workers, you know, the workspace becomes overcrowded, uh, uh, productivity declines, so MPP of labor goes down. MPP of labor goes down. And as the, as the MPP of labor goes down, what happens with the marginal cost of that additional labor? The, additional co the marginal cost increases, right? Because they become less productive. It's more expensive. The benefits or the cost to employ that additional labor outweighs the benefits that you get by employing additional labor. Now, again, we apply the average marginal rule. Okay? So when MC is above, uh, you know, Again, when MC is, in, uh, you know, in this case, MC will be increasing. In this case, MC will be decreasing. So what we are basically saying is that uh, if you go back to that first one, we can delete uh, above because when MC is decreasing, then we can assume that MC will be below, right? Okay, and based on that, we can also delete that one, right? So I'm uh, deliberately, uh, you know, uh, mentioning that, but basically that is not correct because when MPP increases, MC is declining. And then MC will then just be below the AVC and the ATC curve. And based on that average marginal rule, then what will happen with AVC and ATC? AT AVC and ATC will decline, okay? Because MC is declining and it will be below these two curves. But here... MC is rising, so MC will then now be above because it's rising above AVC and ATC. And if it's rising above AVC and ATC according to the average marginal rule, what will happen with these two curves now? Remember now it's increasing and it's above. It's increasing because MPP has declined uh, or is declining. So what will happen if it's above according to the average marginal rule? then what are we saying? What will happen with AVC and A ATC? If it's above, then it means it will increase, right? So when MC is above AVC and ATC because it's increasing, then AVC and ATC will also increase. And basically that summarizes, you know, uh, what happens, you know, how can cost be tied up with the production? Uh, what happens in production determine the cost of production. What will happen with, with MC and what happens with MC determines what will happen with AVC and ATC. So to summarize it uh, is basically what happens with MPP if it's rising or falling uh, determines what will happen with MC. And if MC is rising or falling, it becomes uh, or it uh, rises above AVC and ATC, or it falls below AC uh, or AVC and ATC, and then uh, it will either then increase or decrease. Uh, so yeah, this is just what we are applying here is the average marginal rule. So to summarize, basically, what happens in production, in terms of production, MPP, rising or falling, affects MC. And MC in turn affects AVC and ATC. So please look at that slide in or, or the slide as well as the exhibit in your textbook, Exhibit 7 in, in the chapter. And uh, this basically summarizes, uh, you know, short run production uh, to cost. And that concludes the session.